In this video, we are going to discuss about password recovery on a Cisco routers. So you see here that every Cisco device has the same process of password recovery. So while password recovery processes differ from device to device, but Cisco follows a standard procedure. The two important topics to understand here associated with password recovery are ROM monitor. The first one is ROM monitor. What is a ROM monitor? The ROM monitor also called as the bootstrap program initiates or initializes the hardware and locates the iOS file and boots it. So this is the main function of the ROM monitor. What is the second thing? The second thing is configuration register. This is a 16 bit value so that it is written in the NVRAM and control all the aspects of the boot process. So here this function is controlling the boot process sequence. It can be set to change where bootstrap program initializes and whether the startup config is loaded or not, it can clearly boot process the boot process and stop at the ROM monitor and not to load the iOS file. This function is to not to load the iOS file by stopping the ROM monitor so that they can uh, password recovery can happen here. So what are the steps followed here? You see the ROM monitor and the configuration register play a very important role here and these are the steps followed in this procedure boot into the ROM mon mode that means booting into the ROM monitor mode and change the configuration register such as the startup config is not loaded. So here the startup configuration is not loaded and boot into the iOS and since the startup configuration is not loaded we boot into the iOS and go to the privilege executive mode and make changes there and also we copy the startup config to running configuration and here change the passwords. So as soon as you copy the startup configurations to running configuration, you can see the passwords and you can reset or change the passwords and save the running config to startup config. So after copying from the startup config to running config, we change the running config and also we save it in the running configuration from the startup configuration and change the configuration register back to 2102 which is the standard value. So we change the configuration register back to 2102 so that this password recovery can happen. So this is all about the password recovery in the Cisco devices.